warm for this time of the year being winter time and Friday, July the 22nd, 0222nd. Ah, oh, check that out, 220222. And at uh, 22 minutes past 7 at night, you can have the 222022. Uh, yeah, just moving on. All right, get it. Uh, sorry, boss. Uh, nice to have everybody on board. And well, I tell you what, let me do this. Galaxy. Yeah, my boss just says 22, 22, 22 is all the little ducks in a row with a hole in the middle. <laughs> I get it, I really do. Nice to have everybody on board. If you're going to be watching it a little later on, over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? Yeah, no, you do. You really do. Uh, in fact, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Yeah. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people like, uh, well, Tash is going to be joining us from TG Starlight. Believe me, I absolutely love, love, love this music. I really do. And being an engineer myself, you know, it's not often that I find a band that, you know, encapsulates my imagination as well. So believe me, I'm going to have a chat about that. Uh, if you're going to watch a little later on over there on YouTube, don't forget, you know, sub thumb bell, but, you know, give us the thumb. Like us. Lots. And join us. Be a part of the noise. That's the family here. Subscribe. Literally. And, uh, well, Pamela Toes is joining us from uh, Big Records. <laughs> and also from Rise Up TV. Tell you what, we are so humbled to be a part of Rise Up TV. Big record, Sony Music, The Orchard. Uh, let me show you how much. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music, The Orchard. Absolutely, and we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and ask. Tasha Hillman, all the good questions we really are. But first of all, here is TG Starlight featuring Tasha Hillman. Look at the stars. <laughs> so that gives us a couple of minutes to get to know each other. Sounds good. Okay, what would you like to know about me? Your life story from the very beginning. <laughs> oh, have, you, have you got 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything you'd like to tell me about yourself no honestly I love learning like what makes people like doing what they're doing with their lives like that's something I'm super interested in well Tasha I, I think this is one you can take to the bank literally because I think you fit in this bracket um, people are born to do a job literally yeah. I think you were born to be a singer I was born to be a radio announcer and believe me I won't shut up I get told this all the time, right? But, as I said, I'm an engineer as well. 37 years I've done studio engineering, front of house engineering. I've toured around with some of the biggest bands in the world. And I've wow. worked in some of the most prestigious recording studios in the world. And um, as I said, you know, it's not often that I find somebody that encapsulates my imagination. Tasha, your music does that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wow. It's quite true. Um, George Prophet is joining us again. Nice to have you on board, George. It really, really is. Love, love, love in your work as well. I really, really am. And can't wait to catch up with you in the near future. Um, <laughs> Pamela says, so happy to have Tasha on the show. Thank you. Uh, Pamela, absolute pleasure. It really, really is. And uh, of course, we're going to talk about uh, being on a bus. Going on tours, doing. Have you have you done that with Rise Up TV yet? I did. I went to Halifax with them. What like very incredible experience. Yes, I can talk about that. They are coming to New Zealand. I one day. Well, they <laughs> are. So. They are coming to New Zealand. Uh, by oh, a, yeah. They're going via India, going via Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, and then they're going to Cambodia. Uh, so unfortunately, mm -hmm. the. Mark Rosner and the team are going to meet up with me as well. How did, how did you find Tim? Tim? Uh, Tim Steinrich? Yeah. Oh, well, I met him on the tour, but we live in the same city, which I didn't really, like, I didn't really know anyone from Rise Up. 
but then on the tour i kind of met like everyone and like we all kind of vibe together nice. such a kind nice. human being oh my goodness so spiritual i love spiritual stuff too like next time you run into tim give him a poke in the eye for me won't you Right in the eye. I right in the squishy bit. Nice. We're in the same city like we should. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Tim's getting end up blind with the amount of people that have got yes. poking him in the eye. <laughs> oh, Ricky, he loves Let the stars guide you Here we go, it's the 107 FM, and so very, very happy and very humbled to be talking to Tasha Hillman today uh, about her music, singer, songwriter, extraordinaire, literally. And, uh, well, she's coming out of British Columbia, of course, you know, and she's been with Rise Up TV. Uh, Tasha, did you meet Ashley Pater? I have not met Ashley Pater. Believe me, I think you two would get on really, really well. Welcome to the show, by the way, and uh, thank you for joining us here at Galaxy. Thank you so much for having me. It's really cool. Well, believe me, uh, I'll give you stats and bits of information as we go throughout the uh, show. We've only got a couple of songs, so it's not going to be that long. But having said that, I do have a fan question from Rachel coming out of uh, Belfast right now. She goes, Tasha... As a fan, how do I get hold of you? Are you on uh, Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, do you respond? Yes, I I just made my Instagram. TG's Twilight Music is my Instagram. My Facebook page is TG's Twilight. My Spotify is TG's Twilight. My other Instagram is Tashi Manifest. And yes, if people talk to me, I talk to people. Like... I even always reach out to celebrities. I'm like, hey, like, hey, Sean Mendes, let's collab. Hey, Justin Bieber, call me up. My mom is always like, just go talk to celebrities. And so, like, especially now in the business, I'm like, hey, let's talk. And so if anyone was, like, wanted to talk or collab with me, I'm like, yeah, like, you never know where a connection can lead you, you know? So, Well, I would, yeah. have, I would have said no, because now you're going to get another 5,000 Facebook fans. Uh, literally, you're going to be doing this all day. You're not going to get anything done. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Uh, believe me, Tasha, I have people for that. You know what I mean? I never get, mm-hmm. the, never get the time. I really, really don't. Working in this radio station, and we are pretty much every English-speaking country in the world that is receiving us now. And these people have been requesting your music. They've been taking notice of your music, and they want to know more about you. So, Tasha, what made you become a singer? Okay, so I started songwriting probably when I was 16. And I, like, I was this, I was really shy, really quiet, even as a kid especially. Like, I didn't talk to people, but I just, like, write things down. And I took all the things I'd, like, written down for my whole life. And I just started, I guess, crafting them into songs, especially, like, my first song that I, Stronger Than the Medicine, literally, it's, like, a painful experience I went through of losing someone. But what I took is I wrote a song, and it, like, I try to take the pain I go through in life and let it fuel like my songs and fuel like singing as healing and so singing isn't just like a career but it like has healed me through so many experiences and not just painful ones but like whenever I just feel like disconnected from reality I go like write songs and then like I feel like okay we're okay again and like I'm just grateful to just have that thing to turn to in like all depths of pain or whatever I'm feeling so like then I was definitely just like I want to start sharing these songs and like I've just written so many at this point and I'm like we have like books full like from 16 to now I have like 10 like journals full before I had a phone now I have them on our phone and I'm just like you never know like how these songs can help people how when I hear music it helps me and like I hear my artists like favorite artists and like their music inspires me and it's just like 
I love just like that inspiration of music and how it like connects to your soul deeply. Absolutely, <laughs> so, yeah. absolutely love that. I really, really do. Now, uh, at the same time, Travis from Nova Scotia is asking, okay, you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything like that. How do I purchase your music? How do I get in touch with you? Do you have a website? Do you have a merch store on your website? I do. I have a Big Records website, so it's Big Records Tasha Hillman, and if you go to Big Records, you can find Tasha Hillman, and we are setting up merch, which I'm so excited about. I, like, designed my first hoodie by myself randomly one day, and then I was like, okay, we're going to start, like, selling merch, even though, like, we're still at the beginning of our process, but, yes, I'm making a merch tour. I have my songs going to be on iTunes, Spotify, they'll be all the places in the world, every like platform you can think of, I'll be I'll be on TikTok with my songs. Like you will, I will be everywhere and anywhere I can possibly be with my music. <laughs> well, you know, um, I was talking to Shima Rock yesterday, and I said to him, you know, uh, how do we get hold of your uh, merch and everything like that? Again, he directed me to Big Records. So, Mark, guess what? I'm going to say to you, how would you like to see me? Not only a Shima Rock T-shirt much like this so that people while they're watching these interviews can go online and it does work it really does but i'm going to get you to send me also a tg starlight tasha hillman t-shirt as well i want to get behind this and promote 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 what do you reckon mark go on double double dare you okay uh so no harm in asking is there now having said that uh, a, a young lady by the name of Rosalie Bow, coming out of Australia, has asked me, are you looking at doing touring right now? W would you consider maybe, you know, not only going to New Zealand, but coming to Australia as well? Would you do a, a, an Australasian tour? 100%. I, like, want to go everywhere with my music. Like, as I keep growing, like, I would love to just play these songs, like, everywhere in the world and just people hear them and be like, like, people just vibing to them. Every time I go to a concert, like, the energy when you're just, like, holding your phone and, like, waving it, I'm, like, I'd love just, like, and not just about that, but, like, people to just be inspired. So, yeah, like, huge plans to go on tours. I'm hoping to start touring as soon as I'm ready. Yeah. Well, I want to talk to you about getting you here to New Zealand, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to do it... <laughs> the next time we meet up, and I'm certainly hoping that you'll come back again. Uh, but having said that, Marta, coming out of Cairo in Egypt, is asking, would you, uh, what, what is the pinnacle of your career so far? What, what, do you, what is the one thing that you find has been the one deal that shaped your music? The one what? What, what has been the uh, defining point that shaped your music? What, where did you get your style from? Okay, so I grew up listening to John Lennon. I'm an old soul. <laughs> my mom's an old soul. My mom introduced me to these bands, but John Lennon especially and his song Imagine, like that's been like a huge song in my life. Just like how if we just like treat each other better, the world can be a better place. And I feel like the Beatles and listening to them growing up has really like influenced my music and like hearing like that song for the first time just being like how impactful he was in the world all the things he did to just make a difference as a person and with his music that was like a huge inspiration that i was like this is something i want to do like all these people making a change but also sharing their music and when i like wrote my first song and i was like okay like it's going it's gonna go out into the world now and just even this year, just how many people are, like, responding to my music, I'm so grateful because it's just been, like, in my bedroom for a while. So it's really nice to, like, get it out there, recording it in Nashville. Like, I'm just grateful that, like, doing these things, like, one step at a time and just, yeah, it's just been really cool. It's such a journey. <laughs> Tasha, give me a shout-out for your recording studio and your uh, producer, please. Okay, so I can't say his last name well, but my producer was Stefan Costaopoulos. He has his own recording studio, but he doesn't, like, have a name, like, but he's just my producer. And he's who I got all my songs done with in Nashville, so very grateful. Literally, we, I flew overnight to Nashville for three nights to do the entire, like, album to fly home, because I like to be chaotic, but really grateful he had made he made my song so good and we spent like 12 hours each day on them and i was like 
really glad that we could have done it in that short amount of time. <laughs> now, tell me about Stronger Than the Medicine, because uh, now i got to let you know too, by the way, 1,371 requests so far for a look at the stars, and it's climbing, and we are wow. playing it in the previous show. Uh, but Stronger Than Medicine, literally, 2,500 and 99 requests. We're almost 2,600 requests so far. Tell me about this. Why is it so successful? Oh my gosh, I had no idea. That's really cool to me. Okay, so yeah, Stronger Than Medicine, I literally, it's very personal to me. I mean, I'm not going to go like completely into it, but I was trying to help someone get through addiction. And so I wrote this song to them about helping them get through, like you're stronger than the addiction you have to whatever you don't have to choose that you have a brighter future and of course very like sad story but you know I hope it can help anyone else going through addiction even feeling like you're not good enough even like depression like whatever like you feel like is your medicine that like makes you feel like you're not good enough or like you feel like you have to take to like exist in society the whole like concept of the song is like you're stronger than those demons like whatever we all have demons we all have different things and of course I wrote it about addiction but it's like everyone I found like even like sharing it with just like a small group of people everyone like sees a different meaning in it which is really nice because like it shows how versatile people are but like yeah kind of like you're stronger than whatever you think defines you in life so I hope that that message can keep going to people like well uh, yeah. I can let you know Tasha that it has made a connection with our audio audience. We don't call them fans or anything like that. They are our audio audience. Uh, we call them the noise, to be honest with you. And <laughs> they, that. they have spoken. So, here is TG Starlight and Tasha C uh, Hillman and Stronger Than The Medicine. <laughs> How are we feeling? You okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. Nice, nice. That's cool. I didn't know so many people requested it. That's really cool to me, actually. Well, believe me, uh, tomorrow it'll go up again. <laughs> That's well, so cool. Like, I have, I have no idea what goes on in the world. That's awesome. Well, you know, without people like this, us telling you from time to time, you, you know, mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> My I wife. just hope for the best. Like, I'm very, like, a spiritual person. Like, you put something out, and you hope that it lands where it's meant to, you know? Well, you're a superstar now, Tasha. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, as I said, we are in every English-speaking country of the world. I will give you stats as uh, when my producer comes back. She's just been called out of the room for a minute. Um, but believe me, there's a lot of people online right now listening to this interview. And... Let me tell you, it's not just one or two. <laughs> there is a That's huge, so cool. There's a huge amount. Terry Van Cannon's on board again. Nice to have you on board. Um, I really, really hope you had a successful recording studio time today, my friend. I really, really do. I wish you all the best, brother man. Um, Terry Van Cannon's coming out of North Carolina, and he's she a likes, slide steel like master. Page, sure. This okay. guy is so good. He really, That's really cool. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, he watches pretty much all of these interviews. He really does. He's a very big fan of ours, and I appreciate Terry so much. He most right. probably would like to collaborate with um, he might like TV to Starlight. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, you never know. He may want to collaborate with you, Tasha. He, um, That'd be cool. <laughs> well, he, he wanted to um, uh, do something with Shima yesterday. You know what I mean? He, he's saying, oh, wow. put me in touch, please. Uh, you know, I'm into doing a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, but believe me, he's a wily old fox, I've got to warn you. <laughs> okay. He's, okay. Well, I'm yeah. old at heart. I look young, but my soul's, my soul's experienced on this earth, earth realm, so yeah, don't even worry. I'm just the opposite. I look old, but I'm only 21. Yeah, exit right. I see that. I gotcha. <laughs> Let's go back to the 
Okay, well, we'll uh, move into that. Well, we missed that altogether, to be very honest with you. Let me drag one of these up and see if we can get it right. What do you reckon? Yeah, yep. Right. <laughs> Oh, Terry, you didn't, did you? Really? Uh, and, and let me tell you this, he just texted me, he goes, uh, the session today went great. Can't wait to share with you. The song mentions New Zealand and Kiwis. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to sell a dime now. <laughs> Literally, it's like trying to put DJ Grant in a song. We'll never sell a thing if you do that. Literally. Having said that, Tasha... Uh, this does wrap it up for us for a, another great interview, but I've just got one more question for you. Any new music on the way? Are, are you recording more? Are you re writing more? Are you looking at releasing anything new in the near future? I write like every day, I think. So yes, more will come out. But I also recorded three other songs in Nashville, so they're slowly coming out. So, like, one at a time, but hopefully by the end of 2023, that whole album will be out. There'll be some name about it that has to do with stars, I'm pretty sure, because I love stars. And, yeah. I, I love that, I really do. So, my question to you personally is, uh, will you come back again? Will you do this again? Will you put yourself through this again? Oh, 100%. Thank you so much. This was, like, really awesome. Absolute pleasure, Tasha, and believe me, it's going to be such a, um, a pleasure to follow your career as you're going through uh, the music industry. And I think you're poised, very, very poised, to make it big in the, in the music industry in the near future. I really have that feeling. Just got that look for you. You know what I mean? So, Thank you so much. Wow. So, Tasha, we are going to have to wrap it up from here, but please... Don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to do a couple of things backstage that other people don't get to see, if you know what I mean. Um, Ooh. <laughs> uh. And I'll apologise now. Okay, I will. But in the meantime, folks, let me tell you how happy it's been to have you guys joining us today. Looking forward to catching up with you again. I think on Tuesday is our next interview. Uh, just double check that, actually, just to be sure of it. Yeah. Tuesday, Ella Hart from Nashville is joining us, and Irie Price from Kenya, that man, believe me, he has boxing girls, literally, so check that out. In the meantime, have a very happy and safe weekend, and uh, if you're going to be driving, don't drink, okay? Take care on your roads. In the meantime, uh, let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. <laughs> Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music Production.